Ethiopia. The nation of fairness, the symbol of justice, the origin of mankind. Ethiopia Today is the English language news channel which brings the latest from Ethiopia, mainly focusing on economy and IT digitalization. Thanks for stopping by. I'm Billy from Ethiopia Today. Our news today. Egypt should urge and encourage Ethiopia build more dams like Gert. All the Nile Basin countries share this huge natural resource equally and have the right to utilize it for the benefit of their respective people without causing any significant harm to any of nations, as Ambassador Redouin briefed and updated the Gert issue to upper repatriate countries. Although Ethiopia is building the Gert, its issue is belonging to all the Nile Basin countries, and all have the right to use from this river, not just one or two. All have to make the best use of this resource. As Ethiopians, we're still committed to that but we oppose any monopolistic aspiration nature, and claim that only a single or two countries have all the right to use it by denying the right of the others to have access to our common resources, he added. Currently, the government of Egypt with the support of Sudan and Tunisia are pushing for an outcome of the UN Security Council that would result in far-reaching consequences to Ethiopia as well as the other upper repatriate countries. That's why Ethiopia brings this issue to the respective governments and show its concern. All countries have to stand together for their rights of equitable and reasonable use from the Nile River. The downstream countries along with Tunisia, trying to get a decision on the so-called historical rights on the use of River Nile, which actually would mean arresting the hands of all upper repatriate countries. Furthermore, they are also trying to push to make the Nile issue as a permanent agenda for the UN Security Council which again would be crucial for all upper repatriate countries. In June 2021, the Tunisia's request in this matter was rejected by the UN Security Council. However, Tunisia has continued circulating a draft presidential statement for adoption for security members. The contents of the draft presidential statement by Tunisia solely demonstrates the two downstream countries' monopolistic historical claims. Furthermore, the draft is intended to take the matter away from the African Union. This seriously undermines the internationally accepted principle of equitable and reasonable utilization of transboundary waters. Once again, the UN Security Council members in their last session of the GERT, which was held on 26 August, encouraged Ethiopia, Egypt and Sudan to continue negotiation and resolve the ongoing issue within the African Union. It's important to recall that the GERT is the hydroelectric generating dam that doesn't consume water. The water continues to flow down after hitting the hydroelectric turbulent. It's been built to ensure Ethiopia's energy security, alleviate abduct poverty and meets the needs of its people, not to store the water. In fact, it also enhances the regional integration and unity. The GERT will also benefit the downstream countries in several ways. It regulates the flow of water by enhancing sediment management, uplifting energy generation, increasing water capacity, and reducing floods. As we all know, Sudan has been suffering from flood during the current rainy season. Several people have lost their lives as a result. If Ethiopia had completed the GERT, such loss of lives could have been prevented or the magnitude of fatality could have been minimized. But against all these truths on the ground, the Sudanese government is not serving the interests of its people. Rather it is serving the interests of the other party and working against its own people and trying to slow Ethiopia's intention of completing the GERT project as quickly as possible. The GERT is not a project that posing threat to peace and security in the region. The upper repatriate countries should raise their voice and stand together and encourage Egypt and Sudan to continue negotiation within the African Union to bring mutually acceptable and beneficial resolution. The African Union under the leadership of the current president, Felix Antoine Shisekedi Chilumbo, has been showing its full commitment and engagement. However, Sudan and Egypt have obscured the efforts of the African Union nine times without tangible reason and outcome. Nevertheless, the AU is still facilitating the next round of talks to be held either at end of August or the beginning of September, Ambassador Redouin disclosed. Meanwhile, Tunisia is still pushing its statement to take away the matter from African Union. Egypt is also pressing so that the UN Security Council play the negotiation role. Our house is Africa and hence we should come together to stand for our common rights in Africa. The Nile is an African river, and it is an African issue and must be solved in Africa. 
Africa has to resolve this very important issue with also very clear straightforward solution which would benefit everyone as long as there is good faith and genuine interest. This is not only the issue of Ethiopian but also it is the matter and the rights of all the Nile River countries. The Gert issue shouldn't be the source of conflict. The Nile should be the source of cooperation and celebration, as reflections from the upper repatriate countries show. The representatives question the basis of Tunisia's involvement in the matter. Are the Tunisians coming as a nation representing the African continent or what? They express their lack of understanding regarding Tunisia's position. On the other hand, the people of Sudan asking Ethiopia to complete the Gerd as quickly as possible as they fully aware of the benefits it brings to them. As mentioned above, the immediate benefits can be in the form of preventing flood and access to cheap electricity even ahead of most parts of Ethiopia. When we see the matter from the Egypt's point, they are asking Ethiopia to release the water during prolonged drought and water scarcity in Egypt. Such request obviously is the same as that Egyptians believe that the Gerd is their water reservoir. If that is the case and if Ethiopia wouldn't build this dam, then who would Egypt be asking for the release of water when they faced prolonged shortage? They're asking Ethiopia to release water even if the rainfall stops for loner period. Which we don't think is a reasonable intention. From the other perspective, if Egypt is confirming that the Gerd is their water reservoir, then why don't they urge and encourage Ethiopia to build the dam fast? Why don't the Egyptians help Ethiopia build more dams like Gert so that more water be stored and released during drought? But this is not what Egypt is actually doing. They don't want Ethiopia builds the dam. They don't want Ethiopia finishes the dam. Thus, Egypt's request is contradicting itself. No one is fooled to see such requests as genuine and willing to accept them. Okay, let us consider another scenario here as well. If Egypt expects Ethiopia should release the water, why should they start building the reservoir themselves now instead of wasting the huge volume of water into the Mediterranean Sea? Why don't they build reservoir on their own land to store water for their drought season by avoiding water loss to the sea? The genuine question for Egypt is that they don't want Ethiopia stand firmly on their own feet. Egypt is spending in billions of dollars on military projects. No one is opposing or would like to comment on its military expenditure but they must put budget aside to build their own reservoir. This is something totally in their own hands and in their own control. This is a simple black and white solution. Why do we make it so complicated as if Ethiopia is building a nuclear plant? Let us all bring good faith and genuine interest to the AU's table of negotiation. Let's celebrate by our God-given river and enjoy its benefits together and bring much-needed peace, security and stability to the region. Please note that the primary source of this news is Fauna TV. May God bless Ethiopia and its people. Thanks for your time, and we hope you enjoyed our presentation and understand the situation in Ethiopia. Please give us a like, and share this to others. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you will receive notification as soon as we upload new videos. And also feel completely free to comment. Thanks again.